Yeah, 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 ready? <laughs> Belly of the Beast playing on Vibes Radio 104.5 FM and we have the man of the moment. He goes by the name of Brahma. The bomber. All the way from Kingston, Jamaica. Yo, brother, how are you sip that? You know, there are some, some guava pineapple, brother. <laughs> you got my breaking DJ Smurf. You know the thing we have to try to remain healthy, you know what I mean? For real, for real. Big up DJ Smurf every time. Wicked, bad producer, man. Wicked, wicked and bad selector. For real, for Jamaica. real. All yeah, right. So let's make this official Vibes Nation, ladies and gentlemen, live from Kingston, Jamaica, exactly at 9.21 a.m. And 5.21 p.m. in the 254, we have a man like Brahma joining us via Zoom, www.vibesradio.co.ke. Head over Ucheki Vle interview itakuwa. All right, brother. Introduce yourself for the first listener or the listener who's tuning into the show right now and wondering who is Brahma. Introduce yourself, brother. Very large headlocks, Rasta, Rasta. Gorilla dreadlocks rasta, gorilla dreadlocks rasta, you know. Me I ask them, what the hell the police can do? Gorilla I step them to make we got you. This are no flimstone, not a yabadabado. We not care what a couple of wrinkle, I know that. One thing them fi know about me, when me touch his street clothes never dirty, me say, he know them fi know about me. Rise and wake early, touch the road man cha-cha boy, cha-cha boy, <laughs> clean to me. <laughs> you know the thing, uh, mm-hmm. Kenya, Vibes Radio, my name is Brahma. G God, you know me, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Representing for you guys, big up brother DJ. You know, Brahma is just the lyricist, the next acting out of Jamaica. Brahma is the man. What can I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome. We say Karibu Sana in Swahili. So welcome to the show, brother. And let's just yes, let's just kick it off. So where has Brahma been? You know, like brother, it's almost seven years, eight years, or what? Where has Brahma been? Yeah, eight years, brother. So. You know, everything takes time, you know, for Bill. So I've been mastering my craft. You know, me I say working on my delivery in the studio, my writing skills, just trying to make Brahma the best artist. So when I put myself to the world, people like can see it, can accept it, can feel it because it's real and it's well put together. So basically, I've been around, I've been recording songs, you know, me I say all over the place, still traveling, still doing shows, still touring. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but I'm here now and I'm back with this album, my <laughs> first album. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Rugged and dead. Rugged and deadly, what a very, very good cue point to start. So what's the genesis of that album? Like what inspired Brahma to make that album? What's the inspiration behind the name of the album Rugged and Deadly? All right, Rugged and Deadly, that's ju- that just embodies me, you know what I mean? So people just see Brahma and once them see we brother, them know we are not a smooth person. We are not that smooth guy. You know what I mean? We say gorilla. You understand what I say, brother? So mm-hmm. rugged and deadly just embodied my person, my personality, my character. But at the same time, when you see me as a person, because I mean, the ladies look at me, brother. The ladies them love me. So <laughs> yeah, man, like me, I call myself. You think shots? Like, <laughs> shot, brother. Yeah. So rugged and deadly, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So, oh, that's the inspiration behind the name of the album. Yeah, man, not too smooth, you know me I say, it's roots rock reggae, you know me I say, this is Jamaica, brother, you know where we come from, brother. Yeah. And a pretty boy thing and a smooth thing, brother, you understand what I say, you know? Mm-hmm. So rugged and deadly, it just embodies the whole project, you know me I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the project has uh, over 16 tracks. That's so yeah, man. much music, you know, we are used to getting, you know, eight tracks on an album, nine tracks, you know, plus the intro, outro, you get probably 11 records, but you gave us yeah. 16, over 16 solid songs, including remixes. Why go that direction? 
All right, basically, bro, I'm from the old school, brother. Cause I went back in high school, brother. I was that kid in seventh grade and in eighth grade where I used to save my lunch money to buy records, brother. Mm. To buy albums, brother. And I'm talking about like the Biggie Juicy album, Life After Death, the Tupac album, all of these albums, brother. Where back in the Nas album. So when when I was purchasing purchasing these albums back in the day, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, album used to be albums them time, bro. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Where you have skip between songs, where you have songs connected to other songs. So I told myself, brother, when I was putting out my first album, you know what I mean, brother? It would it would genuinely it would not it wouldn't just be a compilation of you know what I mean mm. songs that I have out already. It would have to tell a story. Yeah. It would not have to have me. It would have to be a proper body of music. You understand? Mm-hmm. So um, speak about the producers who you have worked on, who have worked with on this uh, album, Ragged and Deadly. Yeah, man, we have some great producers on this album. Big mm-hmm. up the genius, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The fullest Steve Marega, big ship forever sailing. Big up people like DJ Smurf, you know what I mean? Who is a great producer where everybody know. Mm-hmm. We have people like DJ Nico on this album, you know what I mean? I say SHS um, Records. Mm-hmm. Um, people like Emodio, Emodio Records is another producer where we are work closely with yeah. in a Jamaica. Where that is doing, he's the one that produced it. Yeah, 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 yeah. For I don't, I don't yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we have a couple, where's my left off Smurf? We have a couple, we have a couple good producers on it as well. We have a you a new you may work with when you touch point. Mm-hmm. You know me I say so also yeah. the album is produced. <laughs> how could I forget this? The album is produced by Rhythm Force Record. Executively produced by Rhythm Force Records. So uh-huh. yeah man that's basically it. Fe- it's a nice compilation of great producers coming together as one to make a perfect project. Fair enough brother. So um speaking of the genius, you know I was introduced to Brahma really and truly by the genius, you know, heading to the top, nah, 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 you know, from them time yeah. days, in. <laughs> so how is the relationship between yeah. you and the genius? Yeah? No, Steve is my family, you mm, know what I mean? Mm. Me and Steve was on the road day before yesterday, you know what I mean? Steve is my brother and, I mean, we cannot be ungrateful, you know what I mean? Brahma will never be an ungrateful artist or ungrateful person. Steve is really that person who... Bro, Brahma even in Jamaica, you know me I say as far mm. as production goes and mm. putting out music but with substance because I have to big up the genius. So there's always gonna be a brotherhood between me and Steve. He's my family, you know me I say big up the genius anyway, the big up Father Freddy and Big Ship. So we're forever sailing. Yeah, and speaking of Father uh, Freddy how did you choose the artists them to feature on this album? Because you know, so you have Zaga Depp on it, you know, you have the Genius, you have Father Freddy, you have Luchi. How did you choose to get uh, this artist to be on this project? Well, brother, I, well, everybody know Brahma, I'm a writer because I'm responsible for no big songs out there written by me, but I'm not the person to come and just out anybody. You understand what I'm saying, brother? Mm-hmm. So, this album now, when I was creating this album, I was so blessed, brother, for. Like people have people like Freddie McGregor in America and I will make you say, Daddy, you know me have this song where I, 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 I wrote and me I hear your voice and him not shun me, you know me, mm. I say, so I feel blessed. So when I went to Freddie with the track, like I said, Big Tune remix, he's on the remix, so the track already exists. Yeah. So when I went to him, I said, Daddy, you know me, I hear you on the remix, he never itch, mm. he never stall, he just gave us the full support 100%. People like Lucian, I wrote Africa, and when I up and writing this song, all I heard was his voice, mm. Lucian's voice, just singing <laughs> Africa, you know what I mean? So, yeah. you don't know, we are some, we, we are some industry youth, so we know where to find who. So we just pull up on Lucia and I say, Ella, we need support, we need strength. <laughs> and once he heard the song, yeah. I have to be honest, my brother. Once he heard the song, he was like, yo, I'm ready. So big up Mr. Lucia to the fullest. You don't know the legend, them are uh, the real you, them and the real talent, them in. Mm, for real. So yesterday I had a chat with uh, me, Bridget Dario uh, from J.A., definitely. And he, he's also like into uh, doing a lot of reggae uh, records and reggae sounds and reggae songs. So um, mm-hmm. I've known you as a dancehall artist, you know. Um, why the sudden change? Why the drift? What inspired you to, you know, go this direction with Ragged and Deadly? It's not a change, you know, you know, because this is something that I want. The Kenya, my Kenya, I want to you know, I'm a lot, you know, Kenya, big up on myself. Yeah. You see me? But and real talk, brother, I try not to let people put my music in a box 
or put any limit or boundaries on it, brother, because this is music, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I know you play songs that, that's in Spanish, in, in, in French. I know you play all different types of In music, Swahili, you know. You know? Yeah. In Swahili, yeah. you know what I mean? It's <laughs> music, bro. You mm -hmm. understand? It's like a universal language. So I don't try to say, okay, I'm a reggae artist, I'm a dancer, I am a musician, brother. Mm. You understand what I say, brother? So yes, brother, is a dancehall artist. I mean, that's how I broke out in this industry as a dancehall artist. But you have people where I go evolve and we are going to grow. And you know, remember, say, my area played that song. <laughs> I remember, say, this is not my first time being on, in a one job rhythm. Remember, yeah. I was on the ride, Rising Sun rhythm. Mm. Wagwan, my darling. Chimney Records. Yeah, Chimney Records. Yeah. So, uh -huh. It has always been me. Mm. So this is just me. I, just say, I didn't want to just put out an album that's Oh, dance or something that what everybody expected. No, brother. Yeah. I wanted to do to do something different to shock the mass. And it, and Freddie McGregor said something to me the other day, and him tell me say I'm proud of me because he must say the album does not sound like I'm trying to be a reggae artist. Mm. It sounds as if like this is a reggae album. Yeah. Well made. So, One hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. For real, for real. So, uh, speak to us about your label and uh, who do you have on your label? Because, you know, so we've talked about the album. So, you have a label. Speak to us about it. All right. Rhythm Force Records. Big up Rhythm Force Records to the fullest. You mm -hmm. know, it's a new label that I work with. Honestly, it's my uncle controlling this label. So, we are trying to keep it in the family, brother. You understand what I say? They are the ones who executively produce this album. Mm. You understand what I say? And they're Florida based. You know what I say? So big up my uncle to the fullest Rhythm Force Records. So outside of that now, you know me have my own label now. Mm. G God Records. G God. You understand what I mean? Yes, I <laughs> so we're grateful for that now. We get the label licensed up on thing. And we have a first artist that we sign an artist called Crucial. So we can look out for my DJ to Kenya. Bad artist, gangster mm. artist. You get what I say? Yeah. So um, tell us yes, about sir. your connection to Africa because definitely you've voiced a remix for me when it came to girl, you know, way back. You've also have a collaboration yes. with Ja Didi. What's your connection to Africa? Have you ever been to Africa? Any plans to come over Yasso? Especially the 254, you know, and just touch down base with, you know, people like us? 254. <laughs> 254. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, Kenya, I've always, all I'm, brother, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Brother, I love Kenya, brother. Mm -hmm. Like, sometime even back in the days when it get rough, Kenya was a place where make me know say, Brahma music is loved by many. So first and foremost, me go big up all of my Kenyan fans them. Me love you. Mm. Thank you for the support throughout the years. You understand what I say? From Cha Cha Boy days to Gorilla Dreadlocks Rasta <laughs> to Evil Eno production and in the ear. I sing the place yeah. for these songs from yeah. African sounds daily. Secondly, I've been to Africa before. I've been to Tanzania. I performed in Tanzania and I performed in um, Zimbabwe. Uh. You understand? I did like 80,000 80, in Zimbabwe. You know what I say? Yeah. So big up to Smiley and that production team. Because that was like four or five years ago. I've never been to Kenya. I really want to come to Kenya. <laughs> and I, I, and I, I'm, I'm going to say this, you know. Yeah. Kenya is my place. Big up all of my friends there. I have no friend of Kenya. I have Ina as my bridging. I have Jadidi as my bridging. I have a youth named Watika Mulumba. Bonify bridging. Mm -hmm. Some people like Kyron. Kyron, you know what I say? Yeah. King Kobe, Top Striker. Holy for bridging, I have over Kenya. We support promote my music on a daily basis. I know I forget enough people right now. Mm. But just big up all of my Kenyan bridging them. You understand what I say, brother? Yeah. All right, all right. So, um,. What have you not covered, Brahma? Like, you've talked uh, music, you've talked production, you've talked uh, Africa Link. What else do you want the Kenyan massive them to know? What have we left out? Oh, and the promoter them are Kenya for 10 for Brahma. <laughs> so, can come give my fans them a proper show. Yeah. Because it's about time Brahma touched down in the 254. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about my artist over there now, when name Jadidi. Mm. You know me I say? You have a youth over there, when name Jadidi. I know him about eight years now. He's always been supporting me and my music. And yeah. So, see, Jadidi had the music right now, brother. And I know, see, I'm me <laughs> inspire him. Him can't tell me nothing. <laughs> me him know that I too. Him know that too. He Know that. Yeah. So you don't know, you know. So if you see him do music and then him link me with this song, and I said DJ Samosa, 
remix and him would all, brother, you know me not gonna turn him away. You understand yeah. what I mean? I say, yeah. and did the song with him, bro, and this kid is promoting his song. You know, this kid's song is everywhere. <laughs> we are blessed it over here, so brother. We are blessed it over here, so. Uh. <laughs> So I just want to tell the Kenyan massive, say, yeah, man, Jaddy, they are Gorilla Gang. You mm-hmm. know me I say? I want my artist that too. You get what I say? So I want to look out for him and support him. Yeah. You know me I say? I suffer a youth, struggling youth like myself. Mm. I will try and make it out of poverty, and that's what he's trying to do. So I want to support Jam Diddy on the Samosa song, Samosa mm. remix, which yeah. features... You're you. truly, brother. Mm-hmm. So you know the thing go. Big up yourself, Jaddy. They know you are listening. Big up everybody <laughs> we are support, brother, right now. For real, for real. So, uh, brother, with this COVID madness, um, I've been asking this question to uh, most of my brethren, them, and you know anybody who passed through the show. After this COVID madness is done, where's the first place you're going to touch down? Outside Jamaica. All right, brother. Uh, hopefully it's Kenya, mm-hmm. but for now, we have a show. <laughs> well... Brother, all of my shows have been cancelled. I had like I had to do the UK. I was supposed to do the UK the fifth of June. Mm-hmm. In August, I was supposed to be in Turks and Caicos, Woo. and then in September, all the gigs them in what would they have? Everything just crashed, brother. So yeah. right now, brother. Hopefully next year when the world pull back, you don't know the UK show them, them can revamp them thing there. The mm-hmm. Europe show them with Mr. Anthony B, because mm-hmm. you know Anthony B is on, He's the, on the album, album too. How could I not dig up Mr. Anthony B, dance all rock on the album, you need mm. to check it out, the video out as well. Brahma featuring Mr. Anthony B, mm-hmm. on my YouTube page, Brahma official, and you can go check out that, so yeah. we're supposed to go on tour, so hopefully next year when the world pull, brother, we're not too focused on them thing the right now, because mm. you don't see that it's a pandemic, and it's a world crisis, so yeah. we just are focused on giving the people them the music, what we see them want and what them like, and that's how they're right now. Alright, brother, so we want to let you continue Continue with the rest. What's, what's the plan for the day? What are you going to do after this? You know, so I mean, I'm a friend there, chill. Take what go on, Smurf? <laughs> yeah, man. Pull on, man. Ode, man. Ode, you know? yeah, bless up, bless Talk up. Talk to us about your song on the album, DJ Smurf. Talk to us yeah, about Smurf. Your song welcome the welcome to the show, DJ Smurf. Yes, man. Yeah. All right, well, you don't know, you know, Brahma got so on. Tell me, say, you know, Smurf, I do a, a full reggae album. And, mm-hmm. You know, more. Why you have a track for my album, honestly. Yeah. It's not like say um I, I approach him and tell him say I want it to produce a song. Uh-huh. So Brahma came to me and said he wanted to give me a track of the album. Yeah. So, you know, we'll play some tracks and stuff in the studio and then, you know, him just choose one of the rhythm then. The same rhythm him choose and same like it and the same thing needs to be <laughs> like so. Yeah. And you know what else? Him just got a bum and him just vice, I think. But vice a nice love song called Blame Love. Yeah, yeah. But you also have some productions, you know, the 12 to 12 rhythm, you know, that's a throwback rhythm. You know, I've worked with the agent Sasko. You you work on radio. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about that a little bit. Abraham, Abraham, I made up on 12 to 12. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 12 to 12. Mm-hmm. So yeah. just tell us something. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you're going way back still. You know, like, <laughs> you're going back as far as way back in, like, before, about 2010. 10, so 11, over there, so, yeah. 11, mm. somewhere around there, you know. Mm, mm. But I have so much production after that still, you know. Um, I, I had production with um, Potential Kid. Yeah. Say, so nice. The Grammy Remember Kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I had um, production with Lady Sa, uh. you know, like my mate. You know, radioactive rhythm, radioactive rhythm, also mad, mad, yeah. Yo, me do, yo, I do my research better. Yeah, regular rhythm, smartphone, mm hmm. With a Kabaka Pyramid and Romain Virgo, Richie Stephen and Gentleman collab, yeah, you know, yeah, I had that one as well, so and then, um. I had a regular rhythm recently with Ryan King, Hushmalika Data. That was mm-hmm. mine as well. Ah. GPS. GPS. Yeah. The one with yeah, Vashon. Vashon Depp on the rhythm too? Which one? Which Vashon. Vashon Depp on yes, the same yes, rhythm? Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, cool. Very fun and grand that one. Uh-huh. You know? I had the GPS rhythm with, with um, Javilani, Brahma. Yeah. Um, um, Chronicle. Chronicle. Uh, <laughs> you know? Daily Rank. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so uh, my latest my latest project now is a single which I produced with Richie Stevens featuring Gentleman. Mm. Richie Stevens doing a nice cover and it's called Lady. Yeah, that's my latest. Um, I, I, well, I don't have that single, brother. 
Me not have it yet. All right, brother, give thanks, yeah. So, Brahma, before we let you leave, uh, I want you to do like a little bit of a capella so that people know, say, it's uh, 9.39 a.m. in Jamaica and this is a live thing. I'm not recording, a live thing. So, I'm going to reduce my bed and let's go. Hear me, I say, a bad gorilla, Brahma, I represent. Big up the Kenya Massive. So, I'm just going to go like a little medley style. So, I'm going to start it by saying, I don't know them yet me long time. Me no know he no warm to mankind. Half of them who no warm me have mine. Kenya, I tell you a long time. Mm. Boy, we no trust people. I know for them I saw the evil. Oh. Oh. Them one kill me through my vehicle. Well, them I go get a bit, a bit, a bit. Me say me clean a out. In time, the gorilla show about. Boy, me I tell you watch your mouth. Cause we going all out. Them thing you when me beating on a joke. Me call one of y'all and a float. Oh, my sweet, sir. She smell me. <laughs> she tell me my brother she no a cha cha boy ra, a see ra. me. If a trendy, over the na fendi. Ship to chiro that a frenzy. He no a cha cha boy. Cha cha boy. Clean to me step, watch me creep, watch me rep man a cha cha boy. Cha cha boy. Hold oh, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Big tuna boss, but you have to do that for us. You have to do that for us, man. Are you mean? Been a while since. Uh -huh. Since I feel like this. Remember say you feel no pain when the music hit. Watch out now. Hey, no. I ain't got no worries, no. I do skin is on weed in a hurry. I big tune a bus, 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 In a Kenya, you mean? <laughs> Yo, brother, thank you very hey, much no. for your time. Um, yes, sadly, we have to let you leave because you have to pay some little bit of bills over here. So, and just continue the show. But thank you very much for coming through and support 100%. Big shout out to DJ Smurf also passing through and blessing us. And, uh, yeah, man, support 100%, brother. Yeah, man, you need to start to back some production, <laughs> You need to start to some radio, Yo. I'm Brother, I'm so busy with this radio work, but I'm not reading my work one. And, oh, before we let you leave. Just give guys your socials. How can guys get to Brahma? How can guys book Brahma? Yeah, man. You don't know if you, if you want to book my brother. You don't know you can email newimagepromotion at gmail.com. Big up Sophia McKay. You understand? Big up my entire team. DJ Smurf, Sophia McKay. You don't know. Big up Crucial. Big up Leslie A's. Big up the whole team. Reading Post Records. But if you want to find my social media, Brahma G God. One word. Straight across the board. Facebook, SoundCloud. Twitter, Brahma G God. Is it what I say, brother? Instagram, yeah. Brahma G G O D. Uh -huh. And as I say for bookings, you can email new image promotions at gmail.com. New image promotion at gmail.com. Sophie McKay. So All right. good, you never know you should. Kenya, Brahma represent. Big up on yourself. Thanks to the support, man. Love on you. Is it what I say, Jaddy? The big up yourself. Watika, Mulumba, Tyra, <laughs> King Kofi, Top Striker, Eno. All of my friends, Reggae Sasa Entertainment, all of my friends, them who may I forget right now, because I know there's a lot of Kenyan fans and friends. Big up Jaddy the sister, because she loves me. Mm -hmm. Big up Jaddy the sister, she loves me. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> yes, all right, my brother, thank you very much for your time. Have a good day, yeah? Yes, Rasta, bless him. Bless, bless, bless. And that was Brahma all the way from Jamaica. Oh my God. After that conversation, let me just pay some bills. Come back on the other side. With some more dancehall, man. Catch the vibes on air and online.